Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Webinar Wednesday. My name is Emily Sweeney, and I'll be moderating today's session. Today, one of our SAP consultants, Gord Hazel, is going to talk about the top three things to know about importing from Excel and copy and paste. You can type your questions into the question panel on the right side of your screen at any point throughout the session, and we'll leave some time at the end for Gord to answer them. I think that we have a few more people probably going to attend, but they can join as we start. So, Gord, I'll pass it over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Emma. Hopefully everybody's doing good this morning. So um, today I got a short presentation. It's only about 57 slides. No, I'm kidding. It's only five. Um, then we'll do a short demo on uh, the top three things of copy and paste and uh, an example of importing from Excel. So copy and paste allows you to copy uh, to and from the forms within SAP from one to another. Um, or you can copy it to Excel, make a few modifications. Um, some of this helps to in increase the productivity uh, of users. So I'll show you a couple of things. We'll copy from uh, a form to form, um, and we'll copy a form to Excel, make some modifications, and paste it back into SAP. Um, and uh, your Excel knowledge is pretty much limited to being able to paste it <coughs> and change some values. Um, and then we'll also show you quickly, uh, if you have a query with the data, how you can copy and paste that right into uh, a form as well. And then we'll go on to questions. So in our demo database, um, we'll show you a couple copy and paste. So let's do uh, sales order. Let's go to our last one here. Um, to quickly copy the SAP grid here, you can just right click anywhere, copy table. You can either paste it into a new one, or what we'll do is we'll do it into uh, Excel. Let's make some modifications and paste it back. All right, so let's say we wanna change the quantities on here, All right? And then we can uh, just paste it back. Pretty easy, it works. Um, by document, so if you're doing a large number of imports, I'd stick with uh, probably use uh, DTW, but order by order, uh, this works really snazzy. Uh, other option is if you send your customers an order form that they send you back by email in Excel, um, you can do the same thing. Um, so I have another customer here. If we started a sales order in SAP for this customer, Maybe they didn't give us the right prices, so we'll just do without the prices. And SAP will draw from it. And you can paste it in. And easy peasy, very quick. Uh, it's a little faster than typing, although I only did three lines, but you could do as many lines as you want, and it'll just paste in. Okay, um, example of copying from form to form without making any changes. So you could either use the duplicate feature or you could just copy and paste. Um, I have some, some people also like to start an order. And if there's pricing changes or they just want to have certain items, if they have it in Excel, you can always just copy column by column and SAP will populate the rest like so. Or you can do the same for a tax code if it changes tax code or uh, whatever you like. You can use a query as well. Um, so I created a quick query here. So I have my data set up the same as the grid. Um, so this one was for a purchase order. So I'm gonna just choose my customer. Um, and then on the, the query results, as long as the fields are the same as your form layouts, you'll populate this in as well. And that's just by going to your query, copying the data, and then right click or paste or control V in the first uh, a field. Um, so import from Excel is it's similar to DTW, but it's uh, um, there's a few things you can do from it. I, I find that the biggest one is uh, updating price lists or prices for items. Um, so if you go to administration, data import, export, and then 
uh, data import, import from Excel. Uh, the example I like to use and show people because it's very popular um, is the pricing. So we go to items um, on your screen. First time you set it up, uh, this won't be here. It'll just be blank. So you'd see a screen like this. So you want to choose your item number. And then price list. So it'll bring all the fields you need in for updating a, a price. Okay, so in Excel, now I've put the headers in here, which equals the column. So column A, B, C, D. So you have to have all the columns across. I put a header row in here just so you could see what it was like. And then you have to have everything to cop or to import in, you have to have every, do all the fields. So when you're ready to prepare your data, uh, your item code, whatever the price list number is, um, your price, your currency, and then if you use uh, additional uh, UOM codes or additional currencies, you can put them in here. Um, if you don't use uh, multiple UOM codes, you can just, uh, the default is manual for most. Um, and then we have pack for a couple of them. So all you do is uh, select all your data without those header rows and then copy uh, and then either save it as a CSV or um, paste it into uh, a text file. <clears throat> so you can make all your changes in uh, for price. So on this one, I, uh, ch I changed the price. It was uh, 400 and I bumped it up to 500 uh, throughout the whole thing, just made a few price changes. Then you're just gonna wanna save that as a text and you're gonna to want to find that file you saved. <clears throat> this is similar to DTW, so you wanna add new records or update depending on what you've done in your Excel. I just pulled everything out, so it's just gonna update. Um, so I could choose the last one or, or, or stay with the first one. And then uh, you just import. <clears throat> now, depending on how big it is, how long it'll take, but you'll see a status bar down here. and it would display any errors if they did happen. So this one we had changed on uh, priceless one to 500 from 400. And there it is. That's the basics on copy and paste and uh, import from Excel. Anybody have any questions? Peter would like to know when you would use copy and paste versus DTW. Okay, typically you'd use, uh, or recommended is to use copy and paste when it's order by order, um, because you can only copy and paste into one form at a time. Uh, if you're doing multiple uh, orders, it's better to uh, probably set that up with uh, the data transfer workbench for, for some example, sales orders and do multiple orders at one time. Um, this is just a way for, if, if you're getting them uh, via email, like I showed, um, where it's one order at a time, or somebody's got it in Excel already, uh, instead of manually keying in, it can save a lot of time. But it's more on an order by order basis or uh, screen by screen of. Thank you. Um, Maria would like to know can you do this for JEs? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you can copy and paste for copying and paste or uh, importing. Perfect. Well, I don't see any other questions. So thank you again for attending and we hope to see you at next month's webinar.